The 1980s were a decade of big curly permed hair, bright heavy makeup, loads of accessories, massive shoulder pads, leg warmer shell suits and loads of money. TV shows such as Dynasty or Dynasty and Dallas promoted an image of wealth and success. Mum, what are we doing today? Lucy, we are going to look at the fun and inventive side of the 1980s in America. Woo! MTV was first launched on Saturday, August 1st, 1981, with the phrase, Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. The first video was by the Buggles and very appropriately called Video Kill the Radio Star. Oh, I know that one. Oh, one, two, three, four. Video killed the radio star. <laughs> I think we're bringing it different, different. Since the very beginning, MTV was designed as a platform for music videos. These videos were played 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and were chosen by video jockeys or VJs as the station called them. MTV also sparked the second British invasion. These featured existing videos by British acts who had used the format for several years for programmes and shows like BBC's Top of the Pops. Brit Girls sparked the most recent invasion. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Next, who shot JR? The cliffhanger finale of American TV show Dallas's third season in March 1980, in which series lead J.R. Ewing was shot, became one of the most iconic TV moments of all time. The show's return for season four was the decade's second most watched broadcast, with 83 million viewers. The personal computer experienced explosive growth in the 1980s. In 1982, the computer was named Machine of the Year by Time magazine. Released in 1981, IBM's first PC, Model 5150, was the first DOS-compatible PC. In 1982, Commodore created the most popular home computers of both 8-bit and 16-bit generations. The Commodore 64 has been listed in the Guinness World Records as the highest selling single computer model of all time. Apple introduced the first Macintosh computer in 1984. It was the first commercially successful personal computer to use a graphical user interface and mouse. The most basic CD, branded as Digital Audio Compact Disc, was released in October 1982 for distribution and listening to digital audio. At the time, it contained up to 74 minutes of music. Two of the first ever commercial pop music CDs were ABBA's 1982 album The Visitors and a re-release of Billy Joel's 52nd Street album. The first commercial music CD pressed in the US was Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA in September 1984. The first commercial US cell phone weighed a whopping two pounds. The Motorola Dynatac 8000X had a waiting list of thousands despite its high price and low functionality. The phone could only store 30 numbers, it took 10 hours to charge and it only offered 30 minutes of talk time. It came with an exorbitant price tag, $3,995. $9,410 in today's money. Popular toys of the era in America were Cabbage Patch Kids, a line of one-of-a-kind cloth dolls with plastic heads. There was such a huge demand for these dolls that during the 1983 Christmas shopping season, about 3 million Cabbage Patch Kids dolls were adopted, while parents fought each other in the stores to get them. Care Bears are a group of multicolored bears who had their own television series during the 1980s and they also had three feature films. The Magic 8-Ball, a plastic sphere made to look like an 8-Ball that is used for fortune telling or seeking advice. Sally Ride was the first American woman in space. On June 18, 1983, Sally Ride became the first American woman in space 
as a crew member on Space Shuttle Challenger for STS-7. Many of the people attending the launch wore t-shirts bearing the words, Ride Sally Ride. We hope you all enjoyed our trip down memory lane. What do you remember fondly from the era? Let us know in the comments section below. Please give this video a like and if you haven't done so already, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel for more fun videos.